If you give yourself to making the best of your role in life, you'll find a great deal of happiness. You can be anything you want to be. She was the tireless advocate for those struggling. She was a leader in the fight for women's rights, and she was so warm and friendly. You know, she let us know we can get fixed when we're broken. Not only first lady of our country, but first lady of our, of our city, and very important that we honor her in a, in a very, very special way. The dimensions of her life weren't extraordinary in one way. They were extraordinary in every way. Lord, you gave her the voice and the courage to use it. Because Betty was humble but strong, vulnerable and courageous, we are better people. She was the one with the love and the comfort. And she was the first one there to put her arms around you. And then the country and the world got to see her love. But for the rest of our days, we will cherish all that was and be thankful that we knew and loved Betty and Jerry Ford. I mean, she's been such an advocate for us. All of us are supremely better for having known you, Betty. You'll never know how much we miss you. May I say to all of my countless friends in Western Michigan, Betty and I are deeply grateful for your long and wonderful support. It's great to be home again. Thank you very, very much.